Modding spell masons is much easier now than it used to be. Let me show you how to get it working. So with spell masons mods, we can add new spells, new enemies, new modifiers, potions, custom animations, and custom sound effects. So this is the up-to-date modding documentation, and it's inside of the main engine repository, spellmasons slash docs slash modding. To get set up, you have to clone the repository. So if we go into the repository right here and click code and copy that, we do git, clone, and press enter. Once that's cloned, we need to cd into the directory. I'm already in it, but it would look like this. cd spellmasons, and now that we're in, we have to run npm install. I've already done that. And then all we have to do is npm start. Okay, so this is gonna start a local server where we can test the game just for single player for now. Um, okay, so here it is. And if I make a change, say to slash, let's change the mana cost to 100. I'm gonna, it's gonna automatically refresh. I load a new game, <laughs> ignore the gigantic potion. Um, and then I'm gonna type uh, control and spacebar to pull up this hot menu. This is an admin thing. And I'll give myself slash and there it is. It costs 100 mana. So now on to making mods. So as it says in the documentation here, the sample mods are contained under source development mods. So if we go there, we can see I have a sample modifier and a sample pickup. That sample pickup that you saw earlier was gigantic. This is it. So we don't want it to be this big. Um, we're gonna shrink that down. So I'm gonna save, it's gonna restart, new run, and there it is, they're tiny. If I wanted to spawn one, I could point my cursor anywhere, control space, and type it in. Sample pickup, boom, there it is. Okay, so to create a new mod, just create a folder inside of development mods, and essentially model it after one of these or one of the modded units. Actually, you can, you can take an example from the existing mods. So if we go into public, spell masons mods, let's check out Renee's gimmicks, cards. Okay, so here's an example of a spell. Now, the mods that are actually in the game are stored in a different repository, but for the sake of building mods easily, I wanted players to be able to work with the automatic reloading and to work directly in the engine. Though you do have to be careful to not change any engine code, all of your changes should be contained within your mod. So, you could use this, for example, to create a new mod, and then you can, in your mod, you can import like regular from the engine code, but then once the mod is published, all of those imports will need to be changed to use the Spell Masons API to make sure it doesn't interfere with the mod. I'm happy to help with that. Just reach out to me on Discord if and when you're ready to publish your mod. For now, we're gonna keep it simple. So the um, mod object is basically what exposes the new units, new pickups, uh, new modifiers. Here's a modifier right there. New events to the game. So this pickup exists because we created an i pickup source, i is for interface, um, and then we added it to the pickups array, we exported the mod, and then in development mods index.ts, we added it to this array. That's all you have to do, and then it shows up inside of the uh, menu mods page. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know on Discord. I'm going to try to keep updating this documentation and making more and more things possible. There's a big runes update coming out very soon. And of course I will make runes moddable. So this documentation will be the most up to date and the other modding tutorials are still useful. Although they're working from within the modding repository and it's much faster and easier to work within the engine as I showed here. So thanks for watching. Can't wait to see what you make.